For some reason, I played Bloodborne in Pyromancer because I had a weird idea and it actually might be a super underrated build. But before we go into that, here is the new patch. Time for rebalancing. Last two patches brought us closer, but there are still things to do. While Ranger, Reaper, and Berserker seem even, Pyromancer still outperforms despite the previous nerfs. So Pyro gets another run of nerfs until it is in line with the other three. Don't worry, Pyromancer players, if this shows to be too harsh, we'll buff in the next update. Fuck, I still need to get mastered. Okay, neutral. Pineapple got buffed, so cooldown pineapple. People don't play pineapple anymore just because spikes aren't played a lot. Because there's so much ranged weapons. Um, and there's a lot of ways to eat spikes with mainly draconic or bread. And but for an and spike balls in general just haven't been strong. Fanfare got buffed 0.5 seconds. The trumpet also just doesn't see a lot of play. Pandemonium now has more start slots. Minus three damage. What? Oh, it has one more, like, in the corner. It's hard to tell here, but... Um, which is fine. I think Pandemonium is still not gonna be great, because it's Pandemonium. But, hey, what about Pandemonium Iromancer, huh? Ice Dragon, Cold Threshold to 12. That's a big difference, dude. From 20 to 12. The block also got nerfed, so from 50 to 35, so you gain less block with Ice Dragon. But you just gained it a bit earlier. Which I think is a good change. It makes it do something, at least, <laughs> most of the time. Burning Torch, damage gaining uh, chance got nerfed again. I think it used to be 35, then it went to 30, now to 25. And damage minus 1. Holy shit. And heat threshold went from 15 to 8. So at least 8, you gain 2 damage instead. Oh, okay. So it just starts scaling more earlier. So it's not even. Uh, it's not that big of a nerf then, right? Still a decent nerf. The minus 1 damage is pretty big, I would say. Like, that thing is so massive early on. I don't know how much the scaling is gonna matter, especially if the chances are even lowered more. So, Thorn Whip. Stamina got slightly buffed. That's fine. Thorn Whip is, like, one of the least played weapons right now. Um, Dancing Dragon. Damage per... So, that's a unique item. Uh, magic unique thing. Damage per heat. Went from 1 to 0.5. Holy fuck, that's half. Heat and luck per magic item got doubled, though. So, you gain way more luck, way more heat at the start. It's fine. So you play more for its effect, the, the damage you're getting from it is going to be way worse. So yeah, that's going to be big. Like, it, it used to be high tempo, now it's not high tempo, now it, you need to kind of make sure you get good use out of its ability, I think. But getting a lot of heat right now is just so easy, it's just not really worth right, to, to pick it for that. Uh, Sapphire and weapon got chance reduced. That fires the blue gem, I'm pretty sure. So now the pyro stuff. Uh, fire pit, health bonus per fire item and from 5 to 4. Okay, so way less starting health. I think that's fine. Frostbite, chance to inflict cold went from 70 to 60. They nerfed cold again. Interesting, because I don't think I saw a lot of cold recently. Obsidian dragon, heat needed for bonus attack from 15 to 22. Okay, so obsidian dragon just pops off way later. Dragons got nerfed. Because uh, I think the strongest dragon build was Obsidian Dragons. Instantly have a lot of heat with like Sun Armor and stuff. And have the double attack trigger and the bonus damage rate. So I think that build being nerfed is kind of good. Phoenix health per heat went from 7 to 6. So now if you resummon, you resummon with way less, uh, way less health. That's fine. I think usually you resummon at full HP anyway. Right? It depends, I guess, on the kind of build you're running. Good thing is that these are things I've not really been running recently. The fire pit is big, but yeah. Burning Sword, Ch chance to gain heat went from 60 to 50. Oh, it's only a 50-50 now. 10%. I don't know how impactful it is, but most people just make the Long Sword anyway, which is 100%, right? So this being a little worse early on, I think it's fine. Draconic Orb, crit hits went from 4 to 3. Holy shit. So now you only get 3 crits for 8 gold. So you still just mainly pick this for the spike stuff, I guess. Cooldown went to 3 seconds. So it's slower at removing spikes and getting you heat and it gives you only free crits yeah that's big i don't even know if you want to take this anymore on seal probably if you're a burst build probably maybe like one seems very expensive now sun armor heals for 17 that's i think this needs to be 15 or something but this is already a step in a good direction sun armor is so busted like the healing that it outputs if you check the logs, it's insane. If you're playing a heat build, it is, you know? Because uh, it goes really fast as well. It just eats one heat for all of that healing. So that's good. I think this might just see another nerf though. Because people will still be making it because the insta extra heat is also good. Flame Whip, a weapon that I think doesn't see any play on Pyro. Cooldown went to 1.7 instead of 2. Really big. Stamina usage went from 2 to 1.7. Also really big. So it goes faster and the stamina didn't really get hit by it. 
issue is that it still has a bad effect. As long as weapons have bad effects, you can kind of buff them as much as you want, but they still don't see play. Unless early on. Like, what we've seen is that really bad weapons, if you just buff them a lot, they're a good tempo pick early, you win a couple rounds, but late game they're still shit. The flame map might start at, like falling in the same bucket, where you take it early because it, it's just strong and gets buffed so much, but it still doesn't fit in end game build. The flame map, the effect early is not even good. I had a couple builds in mind that I want to play, and luckily those have not been nerfed so far. Oh, they got buffed even! Staff of Fire got plus one damage. So I like playing with Staff of Fire, good that I got buffed. Molten Dagger plus one damage, that's also something I want to be playing. Also got buffed. And Molten Spear plus one damage. Um, which I think is still a bad weapon, but more tempo still. I think these are overall good changes, they're nerfing all the things that were kind of strong. Also buffing a couple things in the process. I don't think these were too harsh. I think it'll be fine. I think we'll still get Master easily, because I wasn't forcing the broken stuff anyway. Uh, Berserker. Axe, double axe, cooldown got nerfed again. But it comes from 1.7, so it went to 1.9 and then to 2. It's a smaller nerf, but still a nerf nonetheless. So, Courage Puppy, cooldown got buffed again. So, uh, dude, this is the first thing I said when I saw puppies, they're so slow. So them being buffed right now in cooldown, all three of them, pretty good. They all got 0.5 seconds improved, so maybe Puppy Bolt could be a thing. I don't know though. Badger Rune, Elephant Rune, Hawk Rune, the cost went to 5 gold. Okay, so they're cheaper now, they're still hard to find, so that did. I think the mask is still always like iffy to pick. It, the mask feels like the frozen flame on Pyro. If you get them, you get lucky, then you're strong, but if you don't get them in your shop, you're weak. I think that should be a guarantee, like at the start of every round, you have one item show up in the shop. So at least you know every round you have you, you get the chance to buy something that your um, unique item gives you. Chain Whip cooldown got buffed and Stamina is just buffed. Okay, Chain Whip I think is a good weapon. So I think Chain Whip builds on Berserker might actually be the next thing. We're kind of down to try it. Uh, one thing I want to play today after Pyragon Master was like Falcon Anvil. Because uh, I played a bit yesterday, it's fun. But maybe Chain Whip Anvil is just a much better version. Okay, Ranger. There are so many patches. Is this the third patch already, right? And the game is out for like three weeks? Mega Clover bonus sale chance went from 65. It got nerfed again. Uh, Hedgehog gains two spikes instead of one. Hedgehog buffed again. I think it got buffed last time as well, where it can actually crit. So yeah, because uh, the pet bolt isn't that great, at least the spike pet, pet bolt, right? Rat, chance to inflict poison went to 70 from 50. And stuff like blind got nerfed, so they want rats to be more of a poison heavy thing instead of a blind heavy thing. Makes sense. Um, leaf heals for 8 now instead of 5. Yeah, the only class item ranges are picking right now are Mega Clover and sometimes the Food Bowl. Nobody's been picking Arrow anymore, literally nobody. Which I think is weird, I think Arrow is still good, right? You just play a tempo, like if you just play a ranger like you did on the um, beta, I feel like you would still be strong. Like if you play, I don't know the usual temple stuff. I feel like Ranger is strong, but I don't see Rangers do that at all. To be fair, I've not played a lot of Ranger. We'll find it out soon. But yeah, leaving buffed like this, maybe Bloodform comes back. Poison Ivy, Poison Threshold from 19 to 18. So slight buff and uh, bonus damage got increased again. Okay, Ivy buffed a lot. Belladonna Shade, Poison Debuff Inflict Chance from 60 to 70. Yeah, they're just buffing the class items on Ranger that don't see play right now. Uh, Fortuna's Hope, Luck Chance got increased to 60, and Carrot Luck Required to 4. Kind of a random buff, like why the Carrot buff, but okay, him. Snake. Um, Clans Resist went from 5 to 4, and the cooldown got increased. Yeah, Reapers have only just been picking the Snake, right? The Poison stuff. I don't think I've seen the other class items too much. Nocturnal Lock Lifter, Vampirism went to 3 instead of 2, so a buff to the Vamp class item. Cauldron, cooldown went to 3 seconds instead of 4. Cauldron is the one item I've never seen played. It's so shit. Actually so bad. I don't think this will make it good either. Strong Mana Potion went from 7 to 9. Strong Vampiric Potion, Lifesteal went from 13 to 20. Holy shit, that's a big jump. Um, maybe it's decent now. Maybe? I still have not seen anyone. Nobody just plays potions. I don't see potion chains anymore. The game changed so much. I think because of, uh, of Pyromancer, right? Like, game, like, everyone is scaling so much right now. Uh, back in battle, it was more bursty. It was more about ranges being fast, about, like, stemming out wasn't that big of a deal, because you kill them before you stem out. Like, all of it was just about quick effects. But now, with heat scaling, and with the poison scaling, and um, 
I've won try like and Berserkers wanted to go into battle rage and then delaying. Potions just become like health potion chains and uh summoner potions, they all become way less relevant. A similar thing with I think White Vampiric Potion isn't insane. Wrong Divine Potion cleanses one more and random buff seven. Okay. <laughs> you only play this on yeah on Reaper. So uh, it's no, still not gonna see any play just because Cauldron is shit, right? The main way you get strong divine potion uh, and vamp potion. Death of healing gets plus one healing, so they have been buffing in healing again. Uh, they also buffed Mister and Miss wait Mrs. Struggles and Misfortune again. They buffed the cooldowns as well last time. That's three seconds at two seconds. So now you know how bad they were initially. The fool, which is the card uh, speed bonus, went to forty percent instead of thirty-five. That's actually big. Wait, it used to be twenty-five, no? Like you used to need four of them in order to get hundred percent speed, I think. Uh, but forty percent is insane. Now starting with fool actually on your card chain is just kind of default. Ace of Spades, Reverse, Blue Eyes, White Dragon, and Holo Fire Lizard cost one less. So they're buffing cards a lot. Might be interesting to look at cards Reaper now. Cauldron, probably still not. But also the buffs of like these, these other buffs might, yeah. Other Reaper builds just might be a bit better now. Hi, right, that's it for the patch notes. I think overall pretty good. Uh, we have a um, room on still on one. Could be a Fire Staff game. Uh, I already had my coffee. I'm gonna get another one soon. I'm gonna eat some porridge still. I just made this. Um. I know if it looks tasty, but it's just porridge. Wait, what was I doing again? Yeah, okay. I'll make a torch. Just McCon on one. Just oats, but I should have added more sugar. It's very bland right now. <clears throat> it might be better to just lock, right? I think. We we'll get the other sword. I really need another white stone. Mm, I don't think I sell stone to roll. Actually, I probably should. Stone is uh, not very relevant anymore. The axe already. I feel like axe is still such a good weapon. Yeah, they got nerfed, but and a pan. Never mind. They got owned by this. I think we got our openers down. On sale, Draconic, I suppose. We're looking for more whetstones, but uh, yeah, you cannot really pass this, can you? We're rolling. There's a way to get another flame in the backpack if I rotate this um, horizontally, I think. Yeah, they're all playing Pan because they want to go Excalibur, of course. Makes sense. Hey, good morning, Mortal. This is this a cryo game? There's a herb with the... Uh, hungry, what the fuck? Does Bloodthorn work with... Um, um, what's it called? The banner? It gains me regen. And there's less chance of my bus being removed. What about burning banner but for in pyro? How crazy is that? But it can go like infinite scaling. What is the um, stamina? It's really high. I'm kind of down to try it. It sounds like um, it could be fun. How are we gonna scale our heat then? If we take banner, we go blood for in uh, like chili goob. A bit slow, but it speeds up as well. Banner speeds up with heat, so it's two regen every three seconds. This attacks every 1.7, so it, it timing works as well. I'm going to try it. Put 
We don't need this anymore. Uh, fam clothes. Very early blood amulet. I don't think you even need a heart. I think this banner is fine. Like two regen every three seconds. This attacks not even twice within three seconds. Also, it speeds up with heat, like I said, right? Yeah, probably Wolpertingers for like um, stamina. But I still need to find a way to gain heat, which could be chili googers and stuff. Blind, unlucky. Stone Helm. I think Stone Helm is one of the better techs right now, but um. Alright, you do that. I sold heat thinking I could buy this because I didn't do the math. Fuck me, dude. Oh, it does blood for him. So it's worth it to not play the heat. Uh. Doesn't be interesting because yeah, we do protect our spikes and vamp with banner as well. Did lose two rounds going for this. Kind of expected. There, I figured out the positioning. <laughs> positioning with the stupid fire pit is so annoying. Uh, we use all our items, fire pit sees eight. Bananas are touching this, we're using the fanny pack, we're speeding up, we're making fam claws. It's actually looking good for round 7. I did lose 2 rounds going for this, but yeah. Puzzle Master might be back. Can't wait until I have the Puzzle Master emotes. With one herb, we're not that strong yet. <coughs> in the end that's unlucky otherwise we kill them but we died to poison games may regen there's also heart of darkness heals buffs i don't think it's worth all the money vamp armor no Yeah, that is true. This does remove buffs. Maybe you can speed this, maybe. I know. It's also godly. It's also godly. Why is it not a oh, holy item? It's not godly. Okay, I'm actually just stupid. <laughs> but I, I mean, I guess the blind isn't relevant from this. Or super relevant from this. Okay. I would also like if I can, yeah, have this in the fanny. Really, this works. I didn't have to buy the space necessarily. I knew that I had enough space, but um, I I don't think the boots are good anyway. It's I will need to space later. Let's see. So we have uh, blood for now with continuous regen. Um, mm, so the next couple problems I gotta fix is more stamina, more speed. Um, and heat. So heat could be the way I gain speed, right? Heat gains somehow. Yeah. Let's check our regen. It looks to be fast enough right now. Yeah. 
Our regen is constantly being resupplied in time. Kill them at 50. Our heat skill. Wait, how did our heat skill? It was good up to 15, and then we started critting from the chili pepper rain. So we start critting a bit delayed, which is also good. Blood goo burn. I don't think I want Goobird. We don't have insane triggers for it anyway. We have okay triggers for it, but... Very simple turn. Just get a Blood Amulet. <laughs> Stamina was fine. We didn't face a shield though. That's Dragons without Dragons. Health Pot Amulet. Wait, actually? Is that how it works? Hey, hey, what's up? Steal their Forns and turn them into Heat. I don't really steal Forns, right? Oh, you mean with the uh, Draconic Orb? Um. How much damage? I don't heal enough. How did I take so much more? I guess the issue is I need to ramp up, right? Yeah. Dude, that damage is much higher than my blood for it. I need to ramp up. So I need maybe defensive items as well. Speed, gloves, more vamp for this. I don't think I need this necessarily. I need this here, of course. Maybe I could even put the chili there. No, I don't want to risk it. Spikes aren't very useful against this either. Okay, if you're out of regen, no. Okay, our regen is fine, as you can tell. Oh no, it's not. It was not here. We did stem out. This is 2.2 stamina per second. Uh, another Wolper would be good. I also missed. My curse is only 90. Ah, uh, but we're chilling. We're chilling. This is the Draconic Orb also triggered eventually. I'll get this first, try and find space. Roll with this in. I don't have armor to put this in. But armor, I have no space, no money. It's not that insane. It eats my heat as well. Maybe not. I think a sun shield would be better. Because it doesn't eat the heat, it blocks attacks, helps them out. And I don't need the healing anyway because I got healing from this. I think this would be better. The only issue again would be space. It doesn't really matter how I do this. More Draconics would also be good, obviously. Next. Yeah, I'm getting Master first on Pyro, so at least I have one thing in Master, then I go Berserk. Pass is similar, or scaling is similar, but I stemmed out. No, so they're catching up. Oh no, because they're they ran out of battle rage. Nice, a big 70 crit. 72 crit. Nice, okay. We started dealing insane damage there by the end. Not damaging it, even though we stemmed out. Another blood okay, maybe I don't buy more blood amulets. <laughs> I've been locking these, but no. No, I want space. I don't want Wolper. I cannot buy this yet either. That works. Maybe I even get a stamina potion. Probably do, actually. Ah, no. Sustain is more important, right? Yeah. These rolls are shit. Okay. Good. Honestly, more chili could also be good. Because they're the main heat skillers I have right now. They also heal me and they cleanse debuff so they could cleanse um, blind. Yeah, I think second chilies isn't a terrible idea. Stone cap possibility. Uh, it's literally just here existing. Oh wait, we have a banana in the coffin. I didn't realize. I lose 5 HP. I could optimize it. I should do it. Right. Let's do it. There. Ooh, some blind. I have triple chili to clear some of the blind in the cold. I mean, how is it good with Clover? Just because of the random buffs, I guess? 
Ooh, we're doing big damage. Our accuracy is bad though. I have no way to improve it either. 60, one more hit, one more hit, one more hit. Oh, we're nice. Wait, they died to my spikes. Uh, okay. More glove. I'm stepping out, but I'll get it because also gloves the banana and we're still just a wolf. Maybe I don't even look the shield. I've been looking this because of a defensive resource, right? But getting a wolper might be just more important than just getting the armor here. My defense right now is my healing. Uh, other banana? Nope. No draconic orb is also massive. Lock or buy? Okay, lock. Is there reason to roll? Mm, nope. Yeah, best defense is killing them fast, exactly. One HP. Double moon shield, unlucky. Majority would look items, yeah, because I'm um, like, it's better if I had something else. Like, I'd rather roll, find Wolper, and buy that instead of just buy this. Stop playing your odds. Nope. Some nice giga shits. Cooldown is 0.61. Oh, it's because of our heat skilling as well. Nice, nice. Maybe I glove this thing. I feel like our, um, yeah, our regen isn't able to keep up. Another one, but I'm not gonna get this one yet. Too many important things right now. No summer sack is fine. Is Wolper. Um, hmm. Okay, just gonna pray we live here. Might even get the garlic. Just, in, just because. This is uh, one gold investment technically anyway, right? So, I took a little bit of speed of this. To just get some more regen, because I think it makes sense. Because our heat scaling actually was pretty fast. We're simming out too much without the Wolper. We could reconsider how we do it. Why the better for this bold ban? There's nothing else that worked with Bloodthorn. I just regen gain, like it's very hard to get regen otherwise. You just gain regen. It protects your buffs or your vamp and your spikes from getting removed. Um, That's mainly it, yeah. <laughs> like you could go for the heat scaler instead, but uh, you have so, so high stamina anyway that this is fine. Yellow gem and backpack also, now that I think about it, might be better than on the weapon. I think we've been play, playing a little bit too greedy here. Alright, this is the round to get me to survival. I think once we're survival, we get Wolpertinger, we, we have a better shot. And then moon shield, I think is the right call. Nine summon as well, we got like four stem sacks. But those were not, no, no, no. We still critting because we hit our 15. Like on our garb doing work. Okay, we actually destroyed this guy. We didn't stem out, but we got close, so this was definitely better. Yes, yeah, so we get to survival. But how was that the counter? Still don't really have armor, so I can't really put all these red gems. The armor's still not that insane to me. 
Ended up being fine. I didn't check my regen. Is this good? Uh, maybe can I triple glove now? Probably can, right? I still think I need a glove on to banner. Honestly. Let's see. Double shield again. Okay, maybe not. Um. Yeah, it's still going too fast. Like, I don't have the regen to keep up right now. Even with one glove on it. But Wolper can also help give regen. Yeah, yeah. Eventually gets them out. It's fine. It's actually fine. Look at all our buffs, man. We have 100 poison stacked onto us. What we got there? 100 DPS Bloodthorn. At 100 DPS. Mm, not bad. Wait, what is the stamina? It's 3.1 per second. We also mainly stemmed out because we faced two shields, right? Maybe against one shield is fine. Uh, this is not terrible, but not great. Get this. On sale. Another Vulper. Final round. Okay. I think I'm about 20 gram dark chocolate, peanut butter, honey, and milk. Dark, you, wait, chocolate and porridge, peanut butter, honey. I'm gonna try that. That does sound good. Oh, we got destroyed by this. What? Wait, we're not dead yet. Wait, wait. Oh, the resummon. Okay, I didn't think of the resummon. Wait! We won still! What the fuck? I guess they they relied on bursts, but then... What happened here? Their obsidian dragons just went kind of insane, right? Yeah, I dropped low. And then... Dude, I was actually so low. I just kept healing with the blood foreign, with the vamp. Um, even though we have no red gems in armor or heart container. And then we killed them, they resummoned. I got to 5 HP, I got lucky, wow. And then uh, we just killed them again. <laughs> so we did a total of 825 damage, 70 DPS blood foreign. 70 DPS, 825 damage. If you look at it now, it's at almost 100 DPS again. Yeah, if you look at healing, about almost 400. Uh, the ruby healed 66 in the weapon as well. And the banana and the peppers. Damn. Okay, maybe this isn't the meme. Maybe Bloodthorn is actually kind of playable. The uh, big issue is just stamina. The stamina here was okay. -ish. We definitely stem out because this is uh, free stamina per second, but yeah. You get the Vulper. Maybe not a banana for good measure. Kill this. No, no, no. I'm trying to figure out what the best uh, funny is. Maybe it's not this, and it's like here. Okay. The final build we won with it, it is Bloodforin uh, Pyro. I played this with it, which literally only just is here for the regen and to protect my buffs. I think we went maybe to overcome the gloves, because you can definitely use heat as a scaler instead of just vamp gloves. It's also very expensive. Um, so I'd have to rethink the heat, the speed package a bit maybe. Stamina, triple banana, double wolper should be good. Yeah, yellow gem in here doesn't really work, I'll still put it in backpack. We have two draconic orbs, you could play three or even more, the more the better. Um, and heat scaling is mainly done with the peppers and I guess if they have spikes. Also cleanse in case they blind, I think peppers are really important in this build. And the garlic of course, yeah. Alright, let's see what we face. Oh, it's the ranger build, I was about to say, is it gonna be the broken ranger build? It is.
The crowns just fucked me up. I, I wasn't able to scale or heal at all at the start. Now I'm gonna lose red. They also don't take spike damage because it's bows. He lets them out with a bow. Wait, I'm winning. I am beating the broken ranger build with blood foreign. 136 DPS. 136 DPS with blood foreign. Jesus Christ. I didn't really stem out much either, right? Or did I at all? I don't remember. They have double moon shield. They have a 10 min moon shield as well. I'm still full HP. Yeah. Wait, is this actually legit? How much healing did I do? 437? But didn't stem out? Damn. Did not stem out. Consuming 3.3 stamina per second. Okay, maybe we'll play this more then. That was fun. It was an article. Maybe. What about Bloodform Pyro to Master? Huh? 